Peak Kaiju 8 Kafka baiting me, baiting you two probably. But last episode, I think everyone knew what was going to happen, right? He's going to have some kind of phase two, phase three, the enemy Kaiju. Kafka has to show up. Hoshina is pretty much almost done, but I was wrong. Hoshina actually just kept at it the entire time. Mina even showed up and the entire squadron showed up. And because we had an entire audience, Kafka transforming, defeating the monster, and then being apprehended by Mina herself. Damn. Last episode, actually, if I just even saying this, that like, gives me goosebumps. It's like it was such a heroic moment. It was such an impactful moment. But then the look on his face as he realizes that the secret's out. Now what do we do, right? We're going to find out in today's episode. Let's begin the reaction. Keiji Itami. <gasps> Yo! Itami? Itami? Gates? Itami? You think this guy's like Pixies? You, you think this is Pixie from Attack on Titan? You know, there's Captain Pixies, right? He's like an old bald dude, but he's like super based, right? You think this is the equivalent here? I mean, we have a Levi. Uh, this guy looks like the dude from Full Metal Alchemist. The guy that kind of looks like, you know, Mr. Mustache Man. That I can't say his name or this video is getting demonetized. Okay. Juzo. This guy's definitely the brains, the scientist, the lab coat. Papa! Shinomiya Isao, Director General of the Defense Force. So it sounds like Papa is the highest ranking official of the Defense Force. I don't know, but in this round table, he is him. Kaiju number eight captured. Vital ante. Henshin no choko mo arimasen. Honto ni are ga. We hope that there is a Levi-like character in this show who should be Hoshino or Hoshina that's going to vouch for us. If we don't have anyone that vouches for us, it's GG. But if the defense force is smart enough, they should realize that potential assets that they have by having Kaiju 8 on our side to fight against other Kaijus. We're going to get turned into a weapon. <laughs> Mina's probably confused, shocked, mad, I don't know. We're going to the headquarters, man. Cold. Ooh, cold. Hmm? Renault, our squad, what do they think? Do they think it's unfair? We're gonna get turned into a weapon and Renault's gonna use us, man. Like what? Are we just gonna ignore the fact that he saved the entire fucking squad? That's right! The boys got her back! It would have been cool if more than just Renault did that. If Kikoru and the rest of the squad also just like got in here and said, we'll be waiting for you, that would have given me more assurance. It's cool. Fifth? Only 50? Actually, that's not too bad. Yeah. But... You're gonna turn me into a weapon? There you go, see? Mina was just doing her job. A lot of people were like, L Mina last episode. I mean, she's the fucking captain. She had to, you know, apparent it's just following protocol. But, but, behind the scenes, we taking care of business. But will the people at HQ? That's the thing I'm worried about. What about Kikoru's dad? You're sitting by her side right now. It's one step closer, I guess. Oh. Damn. I mean, so much to him. 
I'd say, I would argue that this is the only way that we can stand by her side. If he were to remain in base human form and not do anything except provide utility support and knowledge of the kaijus, I don't think we'd ever get there. But if he gets admitted into the force by using the power whenever he wants, a controlled way, that's the only potential of us standing beside Nina to fight. This is actually good. Bald. You know what the best part here is? All these characters here... Hold up, hold up, hold up. All these characters here are either characters that matters and you can see their hair or they have masks on because, like, none of them fucking matters. <laughs> like, look. <laughs> hair, 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 hair. Who the fuck are these people, bro? They're called the foot soldiers. They're gonna get fucking used as cannon fodder, man. Oh. Sure. I'm sure Baldi knows though, right? 31? What? This is super, super high security. But like, you know an attack on Titan? How does he fucking transform again? He, he bites himself, right? So like, we have to restrain Eren from like biting. Or else he turns into a Titan and gets out. What the- what's preventing Kafka right now from transforming? He's not going to, but like... I don't think any of this shit matters. He can just at will transform. This entire base is done. Several days later. Okay, okay. He switched- he swapped bodies and we haven't seen him since then. Crazy, right? Backup. He's got one hell of a backup, you saying. Who is this girl? You remember him? Sorry, her? Do you remember her? No, the spare tire isn't the beer gut, is it? I thought the spare tire is like insurance. Extra save points. You know, extra life. As in, our backup insurance is changing into kaiju to, you know, save the day. This is a new character that showed up last episode, right? It hasn't shown up before? She got saved. Okay. Fairly newer character. Okay, okay. Very cold. But inside, I bet he feels the same. Or hope. This could be worldwide hope if we know how to utilize that kaiju into our own favor. This could be the best hope society has ever gotten. He's gonna be the symbol of justice, some All Might shit. Oh, all the paperwork she was telling him about. Hi. Now Hoshino realizes. Hoshina, sorry. Fuck, Blue Archive, man. Blue Archive, Hoshino. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to not kill you, bro. He took that personally. I think he would die if we did that. Papa? Oh, shit. Now, there is no shot. Papa, Papa Shinomiya is as mean as Lirush's dad in Code Geass, right? Because in the most recent Code Geass episode, remember? The Emperor was like, <laughs> Lirush, did you ever pay your rent? You ever buy food? Who's roof on you in there right now? Loser, your mom died because of you. Skill issue. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you, you think that he'll say the same shit? Nanda. Oh, Papa! Oh, he also says, Daddy! <laughs> nice! No, he saved our lives! <laughs> Me implying that he saved us is suddenly us talking about our failures. Holy shit, he is a tiger, parents. Let's <laughs> Oh, yes. Monster Core. Core. 
He's a hybrid. Mom died because of kaiju. Okay, okay. Dad, don't you realize that we can kill more kaijus if we utilize Kafka? Therefore, this is a good thing, Dad. Facts and logic. Just hit him up with that. You want to kill more kaijus? I know how we can do that. Use this fucking kaiju. Well, I would say that the Emperor of Britannia is way more mean than him. Wait, Papa instead. He's acting so casual, but the scientists don't give a fuck. Everyone's waiting. Let's go. We're all relocating? So it is confirmed that the red guy is Kaiju 10. Because I don't think anyone ever called him Kaiju 10, but Mina saying 9 then 10 implies that the most recent sentient one is 10, and 9 is still on the loose, which is the one that's going around making other Kaiju stronger. Swap the body, remember, took over the car, right? Eleven's coming next. Eleven and twelve. Okay. The best of the best is all gonna come fine, huh? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, really? キミたちベカクは以前から検討されていたものだ。日々のカフカは関係ない。事情体に行けと言われてもそうだぜ。俺は第三部隊にあんたに合ってんのか。俺たちバラバラになるってことなんだぞ。いや、もうちょっと考え
<laughs> okay. The dad is horrible father, but I like him a lot. He he stands on business. He like I don't give a fuck. I handled shit personally. Who the fuck you talking to? Let me in. Open it. True, he knows! He knows! Is he gonna fight him? What's gonna happen now? <laughs> Free him! Bang, bang! This is immediately start shooting. I wonder what a suit output is. Right? I wonder, like, like what? It's gotta be higher than me. He's gotta be above 95%, right? This dude has to be really fucking high up, right? <laughs> Blood sample! He got a test tube ready! You're a monster. I don't know, bro. A, a being that you said you can't consider human, you just damaged him, then took his fucking blood sample that easily. I can't consider you human either. All that for a blood sample. That's right. Boy, what is that? What are those gauntlets? Oh, this is my favorite soundtrack. Nerve link! Kaiju weapon! Okay, so I don't know if Mina, Hoshina, they have special customized weapon for them, but I don't think those are Kaiju weapons. They specifically mentioned this is a Kaiju number two weapon. So this is one of the first we're seeing. Zero, zero, 002. They're all coded. Chill, daddy! Chill, daddy! Part of me wants him to just fully transform. <laughs> And fuck that up. Stepfather versus real father. I want Kafka to just... Because I feel like you cannot earn the respect of someone this rough-headed like, by being polite. You need to fucking match their energy and show res and, and prove that you are someone to be respected by fucking stepping on business just like how he does, you know? Exactly. We need to correct him. So we need to also change it to, you know, kaiju a form. <laughs> Your armor's gone! What the fuck? Okay. So the gauntlet isn't really melee range. This is long range. Something about this. This is like Kaiju 2's hand. Just like, he goes like this. And it's an extra extension big hand going down. Arm ripped off. Show me what you got. Come on. Beam attack! Katsute. Once called the strongest soldier the Defense Force has ever seen. So I wonder what that title belongs to now. So clearly he's not in his prime, right? He used to be way better, but he's still up there. But right now, who is number one? It's not Mina, is it? Mina is number one in Division 3, but compared to every other divisions, is it actually Mina? The face of the Defense Force right now? I thought that she was just our local city division three. Have we even maybe they're hiding another character? That'd be my that'd be really sick if they're actually hiding another character that's even stronger than Mina. It's fine. He's so fast! I don't think waiting out is the good plan. What's going on here? Every time he punches, it doesn't land. But the thing is on top of his, you know, the, the, the gauntlet. It's like doing some ranged move, right? Dude, the way his face fucking shifts like this. Look, you can just see the, like, absolute impact. How fast he's moving, how strong he's moving, just distorting the fucking frames. Ooh. Cause this is a kaiju weapon! It's resonating, the weapons. Kaiju 2! 
1972年識別番号付与2番目の個体だすさまじい破壊力と差を持つ大怪獣だったボワーボワーボワーボワーボワーボワーボワーボワーボワーボワーボワーボワーボワーボワーボワーボワーボワーボワーボワーボワーボワーボワーボワーボワ But I want, what, what, what if Kikoru can use this too? That'd be pretty cool. Bro, you can't be trying to overheat a suit. You need to go on the offensive. Can I be trying to overheat a suit? You need to go on the offensive. Can I be trying to overheat a suit? You need to go on the offensive. Can I be trying to overheat a suit? You need to go on the offensive. Can I be trying to overheat a suit? You need to go on the offensive. Can I be trying to overheat a suit? You need to go on the offensive. Can I be trying to overheat a suit? You need to go on the offensive. Can I be trying to overheat a suit? You need to go on the offensive. Full form! Full form! Here we go! At last! Wait, he lost control? Something's different. His mask is shattering. I don't think he has control right now. What's going on? Because, like, this changed. This change, this transformation only happened because this was like life or death scenario. He almost died. So it's almost like survival instinct kicked in. Kafka isn't there. This is like berserk mode. <laughs> this is Attack on Titan, bro. <laughs> Straight up the fucking, the piloting within the fucking Titan, they all look like this shit too. You, what are you gonna tell me? You gotta cut the back of his fucking nape if you wanna, you know, recover him right now? <laughs> the inner kaiju took over? Damn! That's the thing! It's the one that went gawk gawk on us in episode one in the hospital. It says, found you. It was like a floating fly wasp thing. Then it just went inside. What is this thing? It can talk too. It's the Kaiju 8 factor, but like, where'd it come from? Oh, yeah, this animation is so sick. The paintbrush style. Oh. This scene is so peak. Wow. This scene is so peak, man. Holy. I thought that the hype was done since last episode was already a, such a huge pop-off episode. I'm like, what are we going to do now to wrap up the season? We're just going to, you know, do a little bit of closure, wrap up, you know, try to figure out what we're going to do with Kafka. Well, yeah, but no one thought that the fucking Shinomiya dad would step in and start fighting with a numbers a numbers is a weapon series made with actual name uh, numbered kaijus and he's the only one that can use his gauntlet that's pretty cool i wonder why because no one else can handle the sheer force of it probably right it'd be cool to see like other characters like mina and them i don't think mina and hoshina is using numbers it was never mentioned right i think they're just super highly tailored weapons just for them but this is the first numbers we're seeing and goddamn it is so impactful now i think the battle will end with i don't know what's gonna happen here so the whole point is if he can't control his humanity if he cannot override this monster mode, then he's a danger. He's a liability. We cannot work with this guy. So maybe this fight will push, you know, uh, daddy to the fucking, uh, the, the edge of his limits. And just before we're about to kill him, maybe Kafka is able to kind of like take C's of himself and prove that C, I am human. And then hopefully what should happen, just like Attack on Titan is, um, this is a great asset. This We need to fucking work with this. You'd be stupid if we were not to take advantage of this. And hopefully that's how we're going to, you know, wrap up season one. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.